Okay, so we're going to be having a look at regular polygons and some of the problems with some of those. So we're going to have a look at interior and exterior angles to start with. Now there's a really nice method, there's two different methods basically. There's one really nice method that I like to use for finding the interior angle and there's a really nice method for finding the exterior angle as well. Uh, but if we have a look, okay, I'm going to have a look at the interior angle to start with and I'm not going to think about the exterior angle. Now when it comes to any polygon, any polygon can be split up into triangles. So if I pick this point up here and I split it up, look, I can make three triangles. And now uh, this, this shape here is a regular pentagon and it's got five sides. And every polygon, a regular polygon as well, when we're looking at regular polygons, splits up into um, two less triangles than the amount of sides. Okay, so if we know how many sides it's got, which it's got five, you can take away two from that and it makes three triangles. And there we go. Now we know there's 180 degrees in a triangle, so to work out the sum of the angles inside a regular pentagon, or any actually pentagon, we can just do three times 180 and it gives us the answer 540. And that's what angles in a pentagon add up to. And that can be applied to any polygon, and particularly with these regular polygons, if it's got 10 sides, you'd take away two, and you'd do eight times 180. If it had 20 sides, you'd take away two, and you'd do 18 times 180, okay? So from there, we can work out the size of one angle, because if there are five angles, we can divide that by five, and 540 divided by five, which you can use a bit of bus stop for, gives you an angle of 108 degrees. Okay, so that's a good method there for finding the interior angle. And there's something else that we can have a look at as well. Let's have a look, and you can decide which one you prefer from here. So when you're looking at the exterior angle, I'm gonna, if I draw a straight line from the base here, the exterior angle here is what makes a straight line with the interior angle. Bearing in mind we already know that the interior angle here is 108, we've just worked it out. Okay, now there's something else that you can do to work out the interior angle. We know this is a straight line down here. Now the reason we look at this as the exterior angle is because if you look at all of the exterior angles, if I was to move around it in an anti-clockwise direction and kept drawing these little straight lines, all of these exterior angles here form a full turn around the polygon. So a full, full turn there adds up to 360. So another way that I can work out the interior angle is to first think about the exterior angle. I can do 360 divided by the five angles there, and it gives me an angle of 72 degrees. So if this one here is 72, we can do angles on a straight line to work out the interior angle, and you can do 180, take away 72, and again, that's another way of finding out that it's 108 degrees. So there's two different ways there, two things that you need to know. So you need to know how to work out the interior angle, and you need to know that the exterior angles add up to 360, okay? So the sum, of exterior angles, there we go, equals 360, and that allows you to find the exterior angle quite easily. And it's also you know, something that you need to know here that the interior angle and the exterior angle add up to 180. Okay, so we're gonna look at applying that, but you've just gotta to remember to find the interior angle, just take away two from the amount of sides, times it by 180, and divide it by however many um, angles are within that shape. So let's have a look at a little question on this. Okay, so this question says there's two regular pentagons and an equilateral triangle, okay? And it says calculate the size of angle DEH, which is this angle here. Let's stick a little X in there. And you must show all your working. And this is really important on this type of question. You must show all your working, and you've got to show how you go about getting the interior angles there. So obviously we've just done a pentagon, so we know it's 108, but just writing 108 in there wouldn't be showing my working. So whichever method you decide to do, I'd have to do uh, show my work in there. So I'd do five minus two, which equals three, three times 180, which gets me 540. And you might have to do some written methods here and then divide that by five. So 540 over five gives me the angle of 108. And that is me showing my work in there, how I get the angle inside the pentagon. So we can put that in, 108, and I can put in 108 here. Now the reason I've gone for this corner here is because they're all slotted together, we're looking at angles around a point here, and we know the total of all these angles is 360 degrees, so 360 degrees around a point. Uh, the final angle here that we have to find is the one inside the equilateral triangle. Now, we don't, for an equilateral triangle and a, and a square, we don't actually have to show our working for that. It's presumed that we should know those. And inside an equilateral triangle, the angle's 60. There we go. So if these have all got to add up to 360, what we've got to do is add these all up. So 108 plus 108 plus 60. And that gets us uh, 672, so 276 degrees. And we just need to take that away from our 360 up there. So take that away, take away 276. And that leaves us with 60, 70, 84 degrees. There we go. So our missing angle there is 84 degrees. 
Okay, showing all our working in stages as we go. So first things first, we worked out the pentagon. Then we added up all our angles, and then we took it away from 360 to find our missing angle there. So nothing too horrible in these questions. Again, you've just got to make sure with this type of question, you label everything all over the diagram, write the angles in everywhere, uh, and just make sure it's all really nice and clear. So here's some feet up and go up. So have a go at these two, find the size of angle X in between these regular polygons. Uh, pause the video there, and we'll get the answers in a sec. Okay, so the first one here. Now we're gonna show all my working for this one. Obviously we've just done the pentagon. So you would need to show your working, but we know that this angle here is 108. This angle here is 108. And this angle in this square is 90. Okay, uh, and then finishing that off, obviously these have all got to add up to 360 around the point. So if we add those up, we've got a 108, 108 and 90. And that adds up to 603, 306 degrees. Uh, and then take that away from 360, so 360, take away 306, and that leaves us with 54 degrees as the angle X there. So let's just label that on, do it in a different colour. 54 degrees is the answer to our first one. Obviously it's just showing you're working for this 108 here. On to the next one, we've got a hexagon. So we could work out the size of this angle here. And we've also got an octagon there with eight sides, and then that'll be this angle here. So the working out for the octagon, let's work this one out. So there's eight sides, so eight take away two is six, times that by 180, so six times 180. And six times 180, obviously if you have a calculator, that's nice and easy. If not, you are gonna to have to just do some written methods for that, make sure you get it right. But it's 1080. Lovely, it's got eight sides, so divide it by eight, and we'll get the answer 135 degrees. Okay, so there is the interior angle in an octagon. So there we go, 135. The next one we have to work out is the hexagon, so this angle here. So it's got six sides, so six take away two, which is four, times that by 180, gets you 720. And then it's got six sides, so divide that by six and we get 120 degrees for inside the hexagon. So 120. And then finishing this off, we just need to find the size of the missing angle there, so add these both together. So 120 plus 135, leaves us with 255 degrees, and then take that away from 360, leaves us with a missing angle here, let's do it over here just to show our working out, 360, take away, 255, leaves us with 105 degrees for that angle there. All right, and there we go, and there's how to work out some of these problems when you've got polygons fixed around a point. So I'll look at one more before we finish. Okay, so here's quite a different question. It says the diagram shows a pattern made by two regular polygons. Work out how many sides tile A has. And what's not very nice about this one is it doesn't show you um, all of the sides here. Obviously, that's why it's asking us how many sides it has. It just shows us part of tile A, and then we've got the equilateral triangle there. So have a go at this one, see if you can work it out. I'm gonna go over the answer, but see what you get. See if you can figure out how to apply some of the methods we went over in that first, um, that first slide there, and see if you can get the answer. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll go over the answer in a sec. Okay, so looking at this question then. Now first things first, let's have a look at the angles around this point right here. Now we know in the equilateral triangle, that's an angle of 60 degrees. And if tile A is the same on both sides, then um, what we can do is take that 60 away from 360 and split it in half. So if we do that, so 360, take away the 60 degrees in the triangle, leaves us with 300. And if we divide that by two, we've got 150 degrees in each of these tile A's here, so 150 degrees and 150 degrees. So what the question's now asking us is, what polygon, or how many sides does a polygon have to have to have that interior angle of 150 degrees when it's a regular polygon? So two different ways we could do this. Now we could just guess, I could just say, okay, well let's just guess 14 sides. And then if it is 14 sides, I'll take away two times it by 180, divide by 14 and see if it matches. And if it's too high, I'll go, I'll go lower. And if it's too low, I'll just go higher with my sides. Okay, but we can take a little bit of a, an easier approach here. Now, if you remember on that first one, when we looked at the polygon, if it had an interior angle of 150, we could have a look at what the exterior angle is. And because it's on a straight line, the exterior angle would be 30 degrees. So if you think about this, if you remember that all the exterior angles add up to 360, well if one of them's 30, obviously 150 and 30 make 180, then I could just say, all right, well, if I do my 360 and I divide it by the exterior angle there, which is 30, that gives me a total of 12. 
There we go. And that tells me that there must be 12 angles around the polygon because obviously that 30 fits in 12 times. So there we go. Working that out then, we've got 12 sides as our final answer. And again, you can check that if I was to do um, 12 take away with two, that'd be 10 times 180 and then divide it by 12 and you get the answer 150. So you can always check that out. But there you go, that is the end of polygons there. I will do some harder questions on polygons. These ones are quite nice, but I will have a look at doing some harder ones in another video. But just a little quick one on polygons for you there. So that's the end of the video. If it was helpful, if it was useful, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Oh, 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 oh,